10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon, go GPS. plus 40 seconds we've heard call outs and now we're entering the throttle Power bucket we're powering down the Merlin engines to relieve the acceleration as we get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure we're in the throttle bucket now we're beginning to power back up we hear the call out exiting throttle bucket the nine Merlin 1D engine is going one. back to full power and we are now supersonic Max Q. Guidance engineer calls out Max Q, the period of maximum dynamic pressure, or Q, on the vehicle. From this point forward, although we go faster and faster, the thinner atmosphere will put less loads on the airframe of the rocket. Coming up next is Chillin of the upper stage engine. We've got a good trajectory. And back in until it started. We've begun the Chillin of the upper stage engine. Power on the Merlin 1D engines looks good. Avionics reports everything is nominal. And we're T plus two minutes into flight. Next major activity in half a minute, shutdown of the nine Merlin engines, separate the first and second stage, and ignite the second stage engine to carry GPS and the second stage into the first of two orbits today. This one will be the initial parking orbit. Falcon 9 preparing for Miko. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've confirmed ignition of the second stage engine after a good stage one, stage two sep. You could see briefly the Falcon 9 first stage in the background. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Call out that both vehicles are following the planned trajectory. First stage continuing to coast to Apogee where it'll then slowly turn around and descend back to the drone ship for landing in the Atlantic Ocean. The second stage engine beginning the long burn to get it into the parking orbit. Acquisition of signal, Maryland. Coming up, fairing deploy. Waiting to see the camera switch forward. Fairing separation confirmed. And we've got fairing separation. The two halves of the Falcon 9 fairing separating, the pneumatic system unlatching the locks that hold it together, and then the pneumatic pushers separating the two halves. As the fairing falls away from the vehicle, we can see on the left side of the screen the grid fins, the large titanium castings that are mounted to the first stage have deployed. They'll be used later as we come back into the atmosphere for precision guidance of the first stage to land on the drone ship. On the right-hand side, we see the second stage engine continuing Bermuda. to burn. It's at full power. Everything's looking good with the trajectory. So it just passed T plus four minutes into flight. Everything is go.